Hey Team Clay, today we are doing pinch pots. So this is our very first exercise. It is our try it low stakes uh, way to get to know the materials. The first thing we're gonna be getting to know is clay. Now, some of you may have worked with clay before, and if so, you've probably made a pinch pot. Um, if you have, they can be um, surprisingly simple and also surprisingly complicated. So we're just gonna jump right into making a pinch pot. The tools that we need today are clay, of course, some plastic to keep it in so that it doesn't dry out, um, your needle tool for scratching and scoring, or if you've got one laying around that you're not going to use for food again um, and the tines are pretty sharp, you can try using a fork. This can be helpful, um, but your needle tool will do the trick. I've also got a bucket of water and a towel just to wipe my hands on if they get wet and I've also got a sponge. The first thing you want to do is grab some clay. Um, this is reclaimed clay. This is the clay that we make here from all the recycled clay, um, but you're going to want to open up your brand new bag of clay. I've also got some plastic, but I'm going to let my clay sit in when I'm not using it so that it doesn't dry out. Um, so if your clay is in the bag, you just want to make sure you, you take out what you need and you close up that bag on top of the rest of it so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so I've got my clay in my bag here and um, when I'm not using it, I've just got this bag wrapped around it. Here's a ball of clay. I'm going to just round this out roughly in my hands. And when it's pretty much a nice circle or a nice sphere, I'm gonna put my thumb in about halfway through. So you can see I'm going to about halfway. And then I'm going to take my thumb on the inside and my hand on the outside, and I'm going to pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch. When I can fit two thumbs in, I can pinch with both hands at the same time. And as you can see, I'm turning it. Yes, this is the original potter's wheel. And I'm moving on the inside my thumbs from the bottom to the sides as I do this. My goal is to get the walls and the floor of the pot, so here and here, even. And I'm just gonna keep doing that till I've thinned it out pretty well. Um, you can see I'm leaving this rim on the thicker side, and that is because, because there's no clay here, this clay will move much more easily than the clay down here. So I just wait till the end to thin this out. So again, I'm going to twist it and pinch it. I'm gonna do that from the inside. Something else that I'm doing is I'm kind of pinching with my hand somewhat in an up position. So I recommend doing several of these and you'll see that a lot of times when we pinch, clay really wants to become a pancake. This also happens on the wheel. Clay will want to become a pancake. And to counteract that, we'll do that pinching in an up formation. All right, so I'm gonna bring us back to that same stage. So again, I'm just making a rough sphere. I'm gonna put my thumb in about halfway. I'm gonna pinch, turn, pinch. And as you can see, I'm moving my hand in kind of an up position. When I can fit both thumbs in, I'll put both thumbs in. And I am, this is a small bowl, but I am moving my thumbs. So you can see I'm up here on the wall, and then other times I'm down here on the floor. And my goal again is to make the wall and the floor as even as possible. I'm gonna leave this rim for right now. For the pots that we make into rattles, we'll leave that rim thick. Um, but once I'm done with my bowl, I've got it at about the size I want, then I can go ahead and thin out that rim gently, much more gently because again, there's no clay resisting us, so we can work more gently. And then look at that, we've got a pinch bowl. Great, so we've been talking about making pinch pots and then thinning their rims as the very last thing. When we make our pinch pots, at least two, to make into a rattle, we're going to leave our rims a little bit thick. So again, I'm just doing my pinch thing. And I'm going to just go ahead and leave that rim that way instead of thinning it like I would have on the other ones. 
and um, basically I'm going to let this stiffen up just a little bit and I want two that are the same size and eventually they're going to go together to be my rattle and there'll be a separate video on making a rattle. Okay, now that you've got all your pinch pots prepped and we'll do some stuff with them in the next video, we're just gonna put them on our board, wrap them up, watch the video on wrapping or drying uh, your ceramics and then come back for the next video on how to make a rattle and how to put legs on your pinch pots.